Today I'm going to show you how to create this awesome slide only using Pop on 2013. Alright, let's get started. So first, I'm going to create a sentence. So I'll go to Insert, I'll go to Word Art, and I'll pick this 25% lighter black or just a black text, and I'll have a text box. Then I'll type something like this. Change your perspective, and I'll make the entire slide on this sentence. So first, I'll click on this, go to Align, Align it to Center, and go to align again, align to middle. So it's right in the middle of the slide. Then I'll choose a font. So for this, I'll choose League Gothic. And you can download this font right from the internet for free. Then I'll just go to EV and lose it, make it very loose. So we have something like this. Now I'm gonna create some geometry shapes. So I'll go to inside, go to shapes, and pick this rectangle over here and drag like this and this tutorial will be completely random so bear with me I'm going to go to shape outline and make this no outline and click on this form a shape and then I'll go to pattern fill and you have lots of patterns over here I'm going to click this and I'll have something like this and I'll click on this and make it this color red done for the next part, what I will do is press Ctrl D to duplicate it, put it right over here, press Ctrl D to duplicate it again, put it right over here, Ctrl D to duplicate it, D to duplicate it. So I have lots of it and they are scattered all around the place. What I can do is press Ctrl and then click on all of this and make them this color. Yeah, this should work fine. So we have this. For the next part, I'll create some small little ones, just like this, and this. So these are the fillers, and we have empty space over here, I'll put it right over here, and then I will just put it right over there, and increase the size of it, just like that. And we have empty space over here, empty space over here, so as you can see, I'm blocking out all the empty space I have. And so we are basically done with this. For the next part, what I will do is go to another technique. I'll go to insert, go to shapes, and pick the rectangle again and put it right on top of it. Then pick a bright color. To select a bright color, I'll go to more colors and pick a reddish color. Maybe this works fine. Yep. Yep, this works fine. I'll get rid of the outlines and what I will do is make it transparent to it. Yeah, or maybe make it go to standard, make this this color. Done. It's much more bright. As you can see, you can see the background and if you put it like that, you'll see it's covering. So I need to create some random shapes. So sometimes I'll make it in the front. Sometimes I send to the back. So you need to make it random, but you need to make some design out of it also. So there's that. I can see empty space over here, empty space over here. So I'll just connect them both together like that. Empty space over here, three things empty. I'm gonna make it like that and go to over here and make this like this, send it to back. And I'll send this to back also. Yep, something like this. So we have this. Then what I need to do is make this perspective stand out. So what I will do is click on this, duplicate it, put it right over perspective, squeeze it a bit, then right click, send it to back, and as you can see, it's just popping out. I'll select on the perspective and make it white. So it's creating this illusion that it's popping out and I'll send it to back. I'll put it right over here. So we have something like this so far. Change your perspective. It's a very good slide as I think it's a colorful thing. The perspective is standing out. Your word is being presented. To get it a bit more further, what I can do is go to insert, go to shapes, and this is a little trick which I often use. Just drag over all of it, just like that. 
Then what I'll use is go to Shape Outline, make no outline, then I'll go to Gradient. Here's the fun part. I'll click on this, get rid of this, click on this, then drag it outside. We will be left with two slides. I'll make it white, I'll make it white too. And I'll increase the transparency. Just like that. And I'll crank the transparency to about 40, maybe. Then I'll rotate it, just like that. And we'll have something like this. So it creates a shade type thing. It creates a depth in the slide. As you can notice, I hope. So we have our slide ready. So if I open the slideshow, we have something like this. Now let me show you the difference. If I didn't create the shade, I'll have something like this. And with the shade, I have something like this. Let me open the slideshow and show it to you. With the shade, without the shade. Without the shade, it's really sharp on your eyes. But with the shade, it gives a nice lighting effect on your slide. So I'm going to delete this part. And with our slide finalized, we have this thing. Change your perspective. So our tutorial is done. Thanks for watching the entire tutorial. If you have any requests, just type it in the comment section so I can make a video out of it. And don't forget to share with your friends and family. Thanks for watching the entire tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. And have a great day. Change your perspective.